Rangers have a one-run lead in the DS. Game one, Gunnar Henderson, rookie of the year, throws one in the right field, though. He's on first base, representing the tying run, and the Orioles are in business, and the Gunnar Henderson fans are excited. And something happens here that I found interesting, and I did a lot of digging into it, a little bit of digging. Gunnar Henderson first, Hicks is at the plate. First pitch, spiked, 98. Okay, things are looking good for the Orioles. Henderson looking at the signs, looking at the signs. What do you got for me, coach? 99, low, he gets back. So they're worried about the speed. They don't want him to get into scoring position. Hicks swings at that one, a 2-0 fastball. I think Hicks wants that one back. I mean, it's a little inside, so it's a nice pitch. But that's 2-0. That's what he's looking for. Heim's like, yep, we got him. Don't worry. Now, Hicks is looking at the third base coach. He's taking in the signs, understanding what's getting put on. Henderson saw the sign, and he's going to take off as the pitcher goes and gets thrown out. And look at him. Look back at the dugout here. Look back at Hicks and be like, what? What's going on? And hi- what the fuck? Oh, Hyde's upset. Henderson's still looking back like, what? Uh, that's not cool, man. But on the other side, Heim, great throw. He's fired up. Let's go, Jonah. Very next pitch, strike three, stares into the distance. Hicks, sad. This guy, really sad. His son, really sad. This guy, sad. His son, sad. Gray, goatee, sad. Brown, full beard, sad. What happened? What happened to our inning? The next batter grounds out to end the game. Now let's go to the post game where Hyde talks about what happened here. Brandon, yesterday you said the the play in the ninth inning, the call stealing was a, a miscommunication. Um, was that the call there? Was that a hit and run or was that a steal? Yeah, that was. Uh, we just missed the hit and run sign there, and um, that's just something that we've been we've done a lot this year. So the Orioles have run a ton this year. I mean, if the count is full, they almost always put the runner in motion. That's what I'm showing you here, a montage of all of that. I went through I went through like every at-bat with a runner on first to see how often they hit and run because I want to show you guys because they do. They, they Like like Rushman and Henderson are, are second and fourth and going first to third on singles. The Orioles are a running team. Well, unfortunately, you know, Hixie's been wonderful for us this entire season in so many ways. And, you know, we've, we do put runners in motion. We do have to do things. We don't hit a ton of homers, um, trying to generate offense a little bit at times. And uh, we bunt. We do what we do. We do the little things. And yesterday we just missed the sign in, in the ninth inning there. But that didn't cost us the game. We had opportunity to score before that. So he outed Hicks. Hicks missed the hit and run sign. And I was thinking about people that watch my videos that – might not have any idea what a hit and run is. Basically, it means that the hitter is supposed to swing at the ball. They're they're guessing that the pitcher's going to throw a fastball in the zone, and they want to put the runner in motion to avoid the double play, to get the runner to get the third on a single easier, to move the infield defense around. That might help them just make stuff happen. Uh, it's not that common anymore, but teams still do it. I looked it up. They do it a ton, three and two, but the Orioles, as far as I found, which I... <laughs> Did a ton of looking at this. They only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could only find ten times they put on a hit and run that wasn't a full count. So like a two one count, two oh count, one oh count. None of them really like worked out. And I went into this thinking I was gonna show you guys a bunch of like incredibly successful hit and runs. Uh, but here's what I found. There goes Hayes, and it was a hit and run. There goes Ryan, and it's a hit and run down the McCann on a little hit and run down to third. Runner goes. And he's there he goes. Runner goes. Foul back. McCann is on the run and the ball is hit right at Diaz. Runner on the go. Foul back. Mullins running. A weak ground ball to Segura. And he takes off and it's foul. There goes Westberg and he is out at second base. So at the end, you get the worst part of it, a strike him out, throw him out, double play if it doesn't work out. They led the league in going first to third. or didn't lead the league, but they were up there. But they also wasn't really hitting runs that got them there. So, again, I went into this thing, and I was going to explain hitting runs to people that might not know what it is and show that the Orioles are great at them. With the count full, they actually – it was a very successful strategy, and they did it a ton. When the count not full, they didn't do it that much. So maybe Hicks, a 2-1 count, he's not even – it's not even in his head as an option – 
Uh, and that's why he didn't, like, process the signs. He was just kind of zombie looking over there and then went to the um, plate. Also, Hicks hates swinging. His whole approach is, like, not swinging, getting good, getting walks. So he missed the sign. But I was, I, I like, I like these little details of the game. I like hitting runs. They're fun. And then I, I, I did a lot of research to find every time the Orioles had a runner on first base uh, and the runner went in motion and the guy swung at a pitch. And majority of them uh, were 3-2 counts. Otherwise, they're the 10 you just saw. 